I won't be demonstrating all of these different algorithms in this tutorial, but as an example I'm going to use this vocal phrase to show you the possibilities. A night to remember. For this I'm choosing the monophonic voice setting. It's a good idea to select the mode first and then it will remain as the default for the selected object. Monophonic voice differs from the other algorithms in that it has a tick box which enables format correction to avoid the chipmunk effect. Now I'm going to change the pitch of this phrase in half step or semitone increments. A night to remember. A night to remember. A night to remember. To remember. If I untick the format correction box, the difference is quite clear. A night to remember. A night to remember. Although some of you may prefer this effect if it suits your kind of music. As another example, if I split the object on the word to, I can adjust the pitch of that particular word very easily. A night to remember. A night to remember. A night to remember. A night to remember. This method is extremely useful for quickly retuning individual words without resorting to auto-tuning. The fact that you can isolate and manipulate individual words in this way is another example of the power of the object editor. Another option, particularly for vocals, is to use Elastic Audio. To do this, tick the Use Elastic Audio Pitch Automation checkbox and then press the Elastic Audio button. You can have the window floating or docked if you press the docked view button. The harmonizer can create extra voices using major or minor scales. A night to remember. A night to remember. Click Cancel if you decide not to use the effect, or click OK if you want to keep it. I'm clicking OK. So now the object will play back the extra harmonies as well. A night to, remember. to disable the harmonies, just untick the Use Elastic Audio checkbox and you'll be back to the original single line. A night to remember. You can, of course, use Elastic Audio for exaggerated retuning of vocals if your style of music requires that kind of effect. Click on the Detection button and then the Tune button. A night to remember. For an even more extreme effect, make sure you have the Quantized Drawing tool selected. You can use this to flatten out any vibrato and change the character of the sound completely. A night to remember. Then select a setting from the harmonizer and you're good to go. A night to remember. A night to remember. I won't be going into Elastic Audio in any greater detail as that would take too long and it's not within the scope of this tutorial. So that concludes the pitch shifting, time stretching section of the object editor.